Welcome back everyone. So today we are just going to do a flip and drag. So I wanted to revisit probably the very first acrylic pour I've watched, and I believe it was a Christina Welch from over a year and a half, almost two years ago, somewhere around there. But it was a black background with metallics, and it was a flip and drag, and then it was airbrushed out, and it was the pour probably that made me fall in love with acrylic painting. Well, acrylic pours, so. Today we are using a Master's Touch 10x20 gesso board. Uh, I have it already pre-prepped with uh, black base paint, and I have all my colors already lined up, starting with the Blick Acrylic in brass, then I have Soho in silver, Lucas Krill silver bronze, the Craftsmark gold, the Lucas Krill gold bronze, and the Lucas Krill copper, which I have a new one, which is a new copper from Liquitex Basics that I hope to start using soon. Especially since this one's getting low, so we'll be switching that out. Oh, and just for fun, throwing in a color shift, black flash. Could be using these cute little Dixie cups that I got from Monica Tiamoni. So thank you, Monica. A little shout out to you. Yes. All right, so to start off. I'm gonna go a little bold, and I'm gonna do the color flash as the base paint. Just a smidge of that. Then we're gonna jump into the Soho Silver as contrast. to the Soho Silver, we're going to do the Lucas Griffold Bronze. And then the, the acrylic brass. Lucas Griffold Silver Bronze. Lucas Real Copper. And the Craftsmark Gold. And then I think I'm a little bit beyond my limit of paint. There's a lot of paint there, so I'm probably going to be tilting some of it off the edge. Just like in the video, we're going to stir it just a little bit. Because I save and reuse everything. I have 10,000 skewers and I've been using the same one over and over again. <laughs> Alright. And I feel like it needs just like, I don't know, one more shiny aspect. We're gonna throw in the muted pearl. I feel like the other ones are gonna be a little bit too dark, but it's all I'm adding of that pearl. through the bottom, but we're still going to poke a little hole, or three. <laughs> Try to help release some of that paint. Glide it. See if I can stretch this out just a smidge. Why 
We're gonna airbrush that out here in a second. Okay, so <laughs> I had to play around with it for a second. I'm still not up there on the flip and drag level of a lot of the other YouTubers out there, but I had fun. I love the colors. Very earthy. And I wish you guys could see it from my side because all of that metallic is so shimmery. It's gonna be so pretty when this is dry. All I know is a lot of this is going to sink. It's going to reveal a lot more black. So, I'll have to show you guys in my next video how this one turns out. But, until then, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay tuned for some line art on some 4 foot by 16 inch panels, because that's in the making right now. It's taking up all like my white paint pens, and I have to keep going out and getting more. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's been been a fun thing to try to film but other than that if you guys enjoy watching my videos if you guys enjoy this let me know if you guys want to watch more paint pouring or do you guys want more of a schedule like I was thinking having certain days coming out with mainly paint pours and then having other days set out for the embellishing and the drawing and everything else so let me know in the comments below what you guys think is that something you guys would want to see again I'm always trying to improve my content trying to get everything organized for you guys so you have consistency and a better idea for this channel and I'm trying to create that better idea for you guys as well so comments do help more than you guys know so all of you watching if you guys are out there please hit subscribe to watch more and please comment below so you can help me improve and grow and we can create a channel that you guys absolutely love to watch but till next time I will see you guys later bye